Hi everyone, welcome to Handicraft Say to the channel. We're still working on the loom, uh, upgrading it, adding some uh, necessary touches that were ha had to be done. Uh, first of all, we replaced the wedges on the top bar with a just wood wooden plank on both sides so that it will keep. I'm not gonna take it apart for some time, so for a while this will work. And the same thing here. Also, I uh, we added the uh, the pile pile wool plank here on the on the handle switch. Rudy, Rudy is getting mad. He just had his dinner, so it's zoomies zoomies time. Yeah. So this is where the, all the, the skeins will be attached, like this. It will be hanging over the handle bar. So I'll just work and pull the thread from the skein. So also the, what else was done? Well, I guess that generally, so the, the, this plank is easy to remove. So if I need to adjust, advance, or just make some changes on the on the handles. Rudy, it will be easy to rem to remove and then place it back. And now the only thing I have left the uh, the shaft bar, the shaft rod, is already polished. So after the loom will be warped, it will be inserted into the. So it will act, oops. Ouch. It will act as a pickup stick, well, some, sort, some, some, some sort of pickup stick. The weft, the, the handles will be here. Well, right now it's on the floor. And so whenever I need to change the shit, I will just lower it down and turn it. So that would create a new shed. And then when I don't need it, I'll raise it up again. So that would, that would be it, and oh my god, that hurts. So this is the, these two bars will be removed at the moment when I start warping because there will be an obstacle. So once I finish the warping, I'll place them back. And the only thing is left is to mark up the actual warp stick. That's my old one, and it's too short for this loom. But as you can see, it was marked up every five centimeters, and it was counted. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And this one is about twenty centimeters shorter. I'm oh, sorry, twenty centimeters shorter. So I will need to mark it up, and that will be the next step in this in this video. Okay, so the length of the loom, the working part of the loom, the weaving part, is uh, 130 centimeters over here. So that would give me the center at 65 centimeters. And now I can lower the camera get a proper look and starting from this point i get the the right angle mark it up this is the center and from this center i will need to measure 10 centimeters in each direction. Well, I guess that would be starting from six. I don't know if my can camera holder can hold it longer, but I'll do my best. And 40.
in the same way in the opposite direction so got That means I can make and again using the angle make the straight line so that would be hundred and twenty centimeters of the working width I can also use about one centimeter one or two centimeters of the side just to add more we'll see because anyway the loom allows me the 122 centimeters I don't know if I can manage to warp it easily, but I'll do my best. So, these are, instead of counting the warp that I'll be dressing on the loom, I'll just count how many well whatever my density will be i will use the you can use the the embroidery pen markup pen to mark the division between the 10 each 10 centimeters I usually make any any chemical pen will do because anyway it, the, it will be hidden hidden inside between the piles so it won't be visible to anybody Oops. so that's it the markup is done just like this and all I have to do is just write the numbers well, I guess that will be behind the camera so that's it I'll be I'll start test warping tomorrow, and if the density uh, that I'll get with the current warp I have will satisfy me, I'll start warping and then add uh, go into seats and buy some more warp. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Bye.